Well, a lot. Since when I started, it was uh, audio recording was all done on reel-to-reel -reel tape. Nowadays, pretty much everything you do is in video production, and the quality is much better nowadays than it has been, even, even in the last 10 years. The world is kind of in this on-demand portion of life, so especially with podcasting or any of the, any of the, the elements that we put out here at Herdat, um, you can get it when you want it. When I first started in, in college radio, uh, there was barely Facebook. <laughs> so now we have every other uh, media outlet that we can do. The importance of video, just in terms of social media, people like to see other people interacting. And then, you know, the production quality of everything has gone up astronomically. Um, I would say that video is probably the main thing that's changed everything. And it is a game changer for our podcasts. I think you get a lot of people that think you just kind of come in and you just kind of roll in, you sit down and you just do it. It's not just kind of thrown together. Um, there's a lot of planning, pre-planning. Um, there's a lot of work in the editing and uh, in production all over the place. More goes into the creation of it versus the, the post-production and the editing. If you watch the whole series, you realize that how integrated we are into everything that we're doing, um, from selection of music, to doing voiceover work, um, to sweetening the audio. You're also trying to do mic checks and that sort of stuff, so there's a lot of prep work that goes into doing media production. Yes, your equipment will allow you to record really high quality audio, but making it sound just upper echelon um, is a little bit more detail oriented than I think people realize. It all takes time, not just the production side of things, but to learn everything, to figure out the best practices and what works. Not just pushing buttons. Not just pushing buttons, man. I would give my younger self some very specific advice to go after what you enjoy, what seems natural. You know, you're in college, you're doing the radio thing, that's cool. Don't pigeonhole yourself. Explore a little bit of everything, you know. You get your audio editing, you get your video editing, but also setting up a studio, running chords, running mics, every little part of the whole situation. Uh, yeah, dabble in it a little bit and see what you come up with. There are times when you get you get frustrated, just keep going, like don't give up, don't let people tell you, tell you that you can't do what you wanna do, I know that's so cliche. Just keep going, because it'll, it'll work out. I think I would advise my younger self to accept that grace is, is a really important part of the job and just general life. I started in TV, so I would probably would have stayed in video production instead of just going into audio production right away. I wish I would have done that. I think too that you know just being nice a lot of people are connected in the industry um, and a lot of our clients are connected so you know you never know who who knows who and you never know how being just nice could lead to more client work or connections within the community so I would say being nice too. Thank you for helping me that. Beautiful. Thanks very much. Yeah. Not bad. I was like where am I going with this? <laughs>